Hey, how's it? Welcome back to Mark's Tasty Tongue. Right, uh, just gonna adjust this camera a bit. I really don't want my phone falling. I'm gonna bring it down. Yeah, that's not very... So, I've got my slicer that I was reviewing last night, and uh, I thought I'd have a go on camera doing some chili bites that I need to slice because that is what is going to be used. That's how the machine is intended to use. I uh, hope you're all having a good weekend so far. Just going to get some gloves on. Uh, those of you who didn't tune in last night, we had a look at three different slices for Biltong. Um, these are my my chili bites. Now I put them in nice bite side pieces, bite size pieces, and I usually cut three or four sticks at once. Now these have been in the fridge for a couple of days so they've retained a bit of moisture which is nice once you get them. Um, they'll be stockies again, nice and dry. So I usually cut some short. So obviously if you're doing all big loads Very nice slice of this, I'm glad I purchased it. Um, obviously, we already spoke about how much they are. Um, this particular one came out tops. Everybody else seemed to like it as well. I have since glued in that little magnet that came out last night. This is going to be quite quick. So I haven't got too many. This is original bites and I haven't got a lot of original bites. I've got a big load of um, chili bites that needs to be bagged actually. Which on that? A little bit of fat coming through on there. So, would be nice to have a bigger tray. I, I did say that last night. It would be nice if this machine was a little bigger, but do you know what? For what it is and what it's supposed to do, it does the job. Who's watching? Loads of people watching. Good, welcome. How's it? How's it? How's it? We're going to cut some meat up in a minute. Just doing this quickly because it's got to be done. And I'd rather do it before I prepare this area for raw meat. But yeah, I wanted to try out my new um, cutter as well with the original bites. Now whenever I get a load of spice at the bottom of the top. Ah, oh, you know what I haven't done? I haven't put my light on. How's that? Much better. And now I've finished. Now I've finished. So, all this now. And that fits nicely underneath that and that slicer will now go up on my shelf all the spices will go onto the floor so it all gets cleaned up at the end of the day let's move the original bites into the fridge I'm gonna do a quick, quick clean up here have to 
cleanliness is my friends. So, wet cloth first. I have two. Make it a bit wet. That one up. Get my cutting board. One there. One there. Are we in frame? Yes, we are. Welcome, welcome. Um, bit boring, yes, I know. All done. First things first, we're going to sharpen these. So I'm just going to go over the side of the room. Switch my water off. I'm literally running the blade through two or three times. I haven't changed the angle of the camera. Fine. You've seen me do this before. You know what I mean. I am doing all of them. Do it before I start every time. Sometimes I'll actually do it in between if I start struggling a little bit as well. Right, we need a container for scraps. Check. I'm going to move all the blades to the side. I don't want them sitting here. We're all good. Very good. Shall we begin? Let's begin. Now, let's start with a nice fatty one that I saw. Wow, the nice weights on these as well. Um, I'm going to put two tubs. This is some. Um, Believe it or not, halal beef that I managed to acquire. So it's been bled. We're just giving it a quick rinse off. See? Yes, you can. I'm going to be a lot less um, barbaric with fat today. Literally taking off the sinew and leaving all the fat. So, separating both muscles, taking off. Some of this stuff here, and there it is. Some sinew under here. That's gone. 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 Yeah. I did say I'm not going to cut too much fat off, so I'm not going to go crazy. Just taking off really the worst of the sloppy stuff. Any of this stuff that's kind of hanging off, it's going to come off. If you pull on it and it wants to come off, take it off. Everybody's different, it's the way I do it. You don't want to do it when you're doing yours, that's fine. You go 
you do it the way you want to do it. You don't have to do it my way. Everybody has their own way. But I'm going to leave that with some nice fat on this. Some really nice. Not as nice as the Australian beef I used to get, but. So, taking off that bit of sinew on the side, this one hasn't got the, the silver strip on the side like they usually do. They've kindly taken that off for me. What's going on here? I felt something sort of snap here. I always take this skirt off. You know I do. It's the very loose stuff. I'm going to leave that fat underneath. That's good fat. I just want some of this loose stuff off. Let's leave that. All looks good. Right, which knife should we use first? The saboteur. See, they've just been sharpened. Look how that cuts through. In using the weight of my shoulders, leaning into it, even strokes, cutting a large loaf of bread, basically. You don't want too much sawing action. If you have to, do it. I am applying pressure here now because the shape gets a bit odd. This way you get a bit close to the hand, so be careful. Where the angle changes, simply change with the angle. Now, as I flip these open, I will cut where it hasn't gone through. Boom. Nice. Beautiful beef. Put a little bit of marbling this. This adds to the flavor, hey? Eh? It's not overwhelming with fat, but it's got fat in the meat. I do like that. It's marbling, but not extreme marbling. And that's done. How quick is that? So, with this piece now, because it's odd shape, I'm going to take the bottom off. As I've done so many times before a few leanish pieces there so now I've got a much flatter piece to work with more surface area on the deck look at that nice fat on this one again I am trying to vary the thickness of the built home purely because not everybody likes it wet and fatty. Um, <laughs> it's bizarre. When I've got lots of wet and fatty, everybody wants lean. When I've got lots of lean, everybody wants fatty. That's called Sod's Law. How many people we got watching? Nine. Well, welcome nine people. Oh, welcome two people. Was it Graham, Brennan, Shelley? Look at that. Oh, 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 mama mia. That's yummy, that piece. That's a nice, some nice fat on there. Not too thick. And boom, we have done one already. Now I've got uh, two, four, six, seven. So I had eight. That's pretty good. Um, let's do another nice fatty one, shall we? This another Irish. This is Irish now. We're back to Drovers. 
make is, or the company is, Grover's, is the finest Irish meat in town. <laughs> my Irish accent is terrible. Forget my accent. It's just stick with my mixed African stroke English accent. I have been in the country for a long time. <laughs> Look what I still got. I do like to just give it a go every now and again simply because I think that if I persisted with it see there's a way if you just slice I think it's just taking too much meat doesn't speed things up I can tell you that because you know I can do this quicker with a knife see if you go like that you can take the top bit off that might actually work in my favor So I am going to start leaving this stuff, you know. You are never ever going to taste that. What I need to take off is the sinews. I'm going to flip this over just so that I've got better access. And I'm going to skin in between the two muscles. The top and the bottom round. And I'm going to use my knife this time and just take the sinew from this side off There's still some there now whoa I'm throwing fatty bits behind my table now that's no good Right, let's see if I can just take that little sliver off the bottom. Right, now we've separated the two muscles. Let's just tidy up this bit here. Don't like the look of that. A bit of congealed blood there, we don't want it. Again, you end up with this sinew on the side. You don't want it. That is this chewy stuff. Let's move this around. Let's see what we got here. It's not not bad fat. Got some nice fat here. Nice yellow fat. It's not even that loose around here. We might take off this skirt, so to speak. I always take that little skirt off. I just you know, when, I, when I'm tumbling the meat, then to spice it. All that comes off the meat and it just makes a mess. We're going to use that um, thing again, this now, I think. We're going to try it again. I've got to persist with it, you know. I don't know which way I'm going to be more comfortable cutting this one. I think this way. So, Starting on this edge, cutting down. Again, I'm trying to do some thin pieces, some medium, and some thick, just so that I can get different moisture content for my customers. Oh, I've got some really nice fatty pieces here. If you're ordering fatty biltong this week, this is what you're going to get. Uh, I do have to split it between chili, garlic and original, but low in stocks in all. 
seems people are panic buying again a little bit. So talking about another lockdown, aren't they? Possibly next week. Uh, let's hope that the postal service continue their great work and that I can still post out to everybody. Now I'm just going to split this roast. I was hoping to start a bit earlier today, but I've had a few chores to do. Uh, and inevitably I have a cup of coffee, then I have another cup of coffee and I go, oh no, I'll start this now. Oh no, I'll start this now. I'll start this now. Before you know it, I've had six cups of coffee and I'm still not started. So, you can see, that is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at the, look at the fat on that. Very nice. Very thin then on the other pieces. But it's all good. It's good. That's got some nice fat on it. So let's do this. Go on its side again. Take that edge off. Take that bottom edge off. Take another edge off, got a bit of lean there. Flick it over. Are we losing viewers now, are we? Only got four people watching now. Just seen the tiniest, tiniest little cow hair on there. So, nice. Deep cuts. See now we've kind of come to the end and that's quite a floppy piece. I don't want a chance going through that again. I might just cut it in half. But that is What I might do with this is just do this, cutting three thin, thin strips. Those will dry quite nicely. Be nice. They'll, they'll go through the machine nicely as well. All right, let's do a monster. Oh, jeez, that is proper massive. We move on to Isle of Man. So we've had Irish, we've had Halal, English, and now we're Isle of Man. Very important when you open up your beef is to have a good smell. Smell is very important. If it doesn't smell right, then usually it's not right so always smell your beef should smell your food anyway even the supermarket stuff you know even they get it wrong sometimes bought stuff that's been off before where they haven't checked sell by dates or use by dates so I'm going to try and get most of this fat off this one and so I do need I do need lean and try something see that doesn't work like that if you do it this way, all you're doing is you can try with my left hand. No, the soft stuff it definitely doesn't work. Go 
going to have to try and find some other use for it. Maybe for vegetables. <laughs> right, we got this um, lovely strip again. And this time we're going to use this. Let's, um, yeah, my left hand isn't my strongest. But, see, that's just not, you almost got to do a sawing motion with this. And it's just not working. The, the knife is far quicker. Get that silver side off. All right, got ninety nine percent of that off. Now, <clears throat> this is quite a monster one. We're just going to make our little cut between the two muscles. Use your fingers, pull apart, and try and go in between the two muscles and then all the way down. If you're good, you get the whole thing nicely separated with that piece of sinew that's in between on the top of this bottom round. Yeah, trying to be careful obviously you're dealing with very sharp knives. Try and cut away from you. I've never been on a to butcher's course or anything like that. Learned from my dad. And from slicing myself many, many times. Obviously we learn from our mistakes, don't we? Sometimes we have to make the mistake more than once to learn. Um, again, we got the sinew on the side of this, so I'm just taking that off. There it is. There's a bit on the end there. That's gone. What I'm going to do here is just Take this fatty bit with some meat, be a nice piece of biltong. Let's flick her over. See we got quite a bit of lean here. We have got a nice thick strip of fatty here. Again the loose stuff. Taking the skirt off again. Use the skin to your advantage. Pull up while you're slicing. See, even the wrap it around your hand if you have to. Got all that and it's nice and thin. Got that all off in one hit. There's no ways that other one could do that, I think. I'm not gonna take much more off this now. This is okay. It's the stuff underneath the fat is fine, underneath that skin. I keep saying I'm not going to take more off, and then I take more off. Just get rid of that thing. I'm going to move on to my master class blade. So, you can see here that the uh, grain goes that way. So, actually, and this muscle between this and this is going that way. You can see the lines here and these lines here. That's the grain of the meat. So I am going across the grain. It's fine to do that. When you machine slicing, really doesn't make any difference. Um, the only difference would be if you were making stockies, you really do want if you want them nice and 
tender and easy to chew off then you go across the grain. You want for baby sticks, for teething, then you go with the grain because you can't really chew off big chunks then. The baby is then pulling on strands. I'm sure you know what I mean. I've got a bit of country music playing in the background today. Let's hope that Facebook don't mute half the video. But even if they do, it's fine. We are slicing beef. You're here to see some nice beef slicing. Look at that. Absolute beautiful. I'm going to have to stop after this one and sort out this meat because my tubs are overflowing. And then I'm going to carry on. Uh, I've still got five left to do after this. I think I've only done three. Yeah. So I can't bore you all Saturday, can I? I, I do cut a bit better when I've got people watching me seem to be a bit more careful. <laughs> I need to go and get a drink, have a smoke break. Look at that. Oh, I like that piece. Some beautiful beef there, some beautiful beef. Um, right, let's do this bottom piece quickly. Bottom off first, just to create some more surface area. Again, I'm just, I want the lean stuff, so you can cut a bit more off. I need enough just to keep it solid. Because we've only got three viewers now. They're dropping like flies. Don't know who's still watching. Who's watching? Paula? How's it? My girl. Shirley. Let's um let's end this now. You've seen me do a few. Have a great weekend. And uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do, eh? Uh, have a good week. Cheers, guys. Tune in again next time. Cheers.